Okay guys, in this video, we will create a cute beanie in size extra small. I will also provide you with guidelines and measurements in the video description below. So I'm getting close. We are going to begin creating the first panel. To do so, I will use this rectangular tool, click on it to select. And then I'm going to click one on the page. And I'm going to type in right here, the width of 8.5 and then press on the tab key and I'm going to type in total length is 24. Next, I'm going to click on OK. After that, we are going to create two internal lines. One right here for the curl length and the other one right here for folding length. I will select this edit pattern tool, click on this top line, right click, and then select offset as internal line. Then I'm going to type in 11 and then click on OK. Next, I will click one right here from the bottom, right click, and then I'm going to select offset as internal line and I'm going to type in 4.5 and then click on OK. Next, we want to create a center line right here. Simply click one right here, press on shift, click right here, then right click. I'm going to select the distribute internal line between segments and I'm going to click on OK. Next, we want to draw a line from here to here. To do so, I will select this internal polygon shaft line tool. Click one right here to start and then click toy to end. Next, we want to create a curve right here. Simply use this edit curvature tool. Click and then drag it outward a little to create a curve. And let me see if I, let me change the tool to edit pattern tool here. We want to add just a little bit here. Next, we want to cut this piece out. I will use this transform pattern tool. Click on that line right there, right click and then select cut. I will do the same right here. Click one right here to select right click and then I'm going to select cut. Next, I'm going to remove these piece here because we don't need them anymore. And then we want to unfold this. Simply use the edit pattern tool, click on the center line, right click and then select unfold. After that, I'm going to convert this line here to baseline. Simply lock the pattern outline first and then my key selects all these lines, right click and then select convert to baseline. After that, we want to lock that baseline. So simply click it to lock. And after that, I'm going to unlock pattern outline here and let it move the center point. We don't need that. Next, I'm going to use the transform pattern tool and click on that pattern piece right there, right click and I'm going to select copy and then right click again and I'm going to select paste and I'm going to press on shift right click and I'm going to change this number of shape to five and there are a total of six panel after that I'm going to click on okay next we want to merge the piece together simply use this edit pattern tool click on it to select then click one right here and then press on shift click one right here and then right click and select merge I'm going to repeat this step here Okay, so we are finished. Next, I'm going to remove this point here. We don't need them anymore. And then we want to create an internal line right here for the folding line. I'm going to use the internal polygon shaft line tool and simply click one to start and then click toy right here to draw that internal line. After that, I'm going to come over here and then select this transform pattern tool to get out of that. So now I'm going to bring this pattern over here a little and then simply come over here and click on the reset to the arrangement all to reset the pattern. And let's zoom in to this avatar a little bit. Before we're going to place that pattern onto the avatar, we want to remove the hair. Simply click one on that hair, right click, and we want to select the lead accessory. Now I'm going to come over here and then turn on the show or high arrangement point onto the avatar. And I'm going to press on number eight here. We want to see the back view of the avatar. And simply click one on the pattern and then click one right here to place the pattern. Next, let's click and then drag it forward a little bit, just like that. All right, so I'm going to sew this pattern together. I will use the segment sewing tool, click on it to select, then click one right here to sew to, and right here. Next, let's strengthen that pattern. 
it is okay to have the head poke out a little bit because we want the sewing to pass her face. Next, let's click on the simulation icon to simulate. Okay, I will change this fabric texture to mesh, okay? So it's easier for us to see. All right, so if we look at closely, the head, the beanie is covered almost to the head. So I'm going to kind of rotate it a little here. Next, we want to fold this line here. Simply come over here to the Fold Arrangement tool, click on it to select. Then I'm going to click one right here and let's bring it up. And then I'm going to simulate to see the effect. And let's change the fabric texture back to the thick texture surface. And switch the tool to Select Slash Smooth tool. Let's simulate and we are going to adjust. And let me zoom in over here. I'm going to select this folding line here and then we want to turn on this fold rendering. So I'm going to change the pattern goal distance to 5. Simply my key, select the pattern, come to the property editor and then type in 5 and then press on return enter on the keyboard to confirm. Then we also want to change this add thickness rendering to 3. Then press return enter on the keyboard. After that, let's simulate one more time to see the effects. So actually it looks pretty good. Let's unstrengthen. And next we want to apply the knit fabric onto that beanie. To do so, I will come over here to the fabric folder, double click on it, and then I'm going to type in rib. Then press return enter on the keyboard. I'm going to select this rib two by two, click and then drag and drop onto the fabric. Okay. Then I'm going to let strengthen the fabric and then I'm going to simulate one more time to see the effects and let's select unstrengthen. All right, the beanie looks pretty good, guys. So before we are finished, I want to remove this full rendering. Simply come over here and then turn off that full rendering and let's simulate one more time to see the effect. So now we have more like a natural fold rather than a sharp fold for a knit fabric. Okay, there you have it, Design Instructor. I hope you guys found the video helpful. And remember to give it a thumbs up and follow me on Encoder Fashion for more awesome tutorials like this. Thanks for watching, guys.